Hello, I'm Dr. Mark Nims, and welcome to our Easter week devotions using the resurrection eggs. Uh, before we actually begin our devotions, as promised, I have to share a shout out to some very special people. So hello to you, Margo. Hey, baby T. You're probably little TJ by now. Hey, Elijah and Henry. You know that I baptized you, boys? That's right. Hello, little Danica. Hey, Pastor Mike and Hannah. You two behaving? Hey, Leanne and Cody, who want me to play the guitar. I'll see if I can get to that here uh, in the very near future. And say, Donna, once we get back together at church, if you show me the set of resurrection eggs that you made this week, I will have a very special gift for you, okay? Well, let me see. We're opening our fourth egg today. Our first egg was the donkey. Second egg, the pieces of silver. The third egg, the little cup. And today, we take out our fourth egg. Shake it a little bit. Sounds like there's something hard in there. And look what we have here. A very little set of praying hands. Can you see them? Praying hands. Sometimes we fold our hands like this. And some people fold them like this. And that's what these little hands are. You see, according to Mark chapter 14, beginning with verse 32, and they went to a place called Gethsemane. And he said to his disciples, sit here while I pray. And he took with him Peter and James and John. And he began to be greatly distressed and troubled. And he said to them, my soul is very sorrowful, even to death. Remain here and watch. You know, after Jesus celebrated the Passover meal with his disciples, he took the disciples to a garden that's called Gethsemane. And Jesus asked his disciples to pray while he went to another well, part of the garden to talk to God alone. And then Jesus began to become very sad and to truly to worry about and to fear what he knew was going to happen very, very soon. And that was the fact that he was going to die. Jesus was willing to die for your sin and for my sin. Jesus once said, no one takes my life from me, but I lay it down on my own accord. According to John chapter 10, verse 18. You see, one of the very remarkable things about Jesus was uh, that uh, Jesus was like no one ever before or ever since. Jesus was both God and man at the same time. You know, the God part of Jesus was willing to die because of his great love for us. But the human part of Jesus probably didn't want to experience the great pain that he would surely suffer by dying on the cross. And when you're afraid or sad, you too and I may pray just like the Jesus did. Would you please fold your hands and bow your heads with mine and we'll pray right now. And we pray, Lord Jesus, we thank you for the suffering that you did for us upon the cross. Thank you for listening to us and hearing us and saving us from our sin. Help us, Lord, to share that message with others. In Jesus, your name we pray, amen. Well, I sure love you in the Lord, Jesus loves you, and we will see you tomorrow when we open four eggs, four eggs in one day. God's richest blessings, and we'll talk to you tomorrow.